Cleary's first opened its doors on O'Connell Street in 1853 and it's been part of the heart of the city ever since. It closed abruptly in 2015, shortly after it was bought by the Natrium Consortium. No notice was given to the 460 people who'd been employed there. It was sold to new owners in 2018 and has since been undergoing restoration. That includes the restoration of the iconic Cleary's clock, which was finally unveiled today. Well, I think it's fantastic because it's so long that it has been all closed off, you know. And it's great memories, Cleary's clock. People meeting under the clock. People got engaged under the clock. Did you ever meet anybody yourself under the clock? yeah. (laughs) A long time ago now, but I did, yeah. It's brilliant to see you back again. Do you have any memories yourself of meeting under the clock? I have. (laughs) And I've been dances upstairs in the ballroom. The restoration of the building is being marked by an exhibition charting its history. What I really wanted to emphasise during this exhibition was the importance of Cleary's, not to high politics or to, to anything like that, but to actually just ordinary people and their lives. John Crow started work in Cleary's in 1968 at the age of 16. I was there to the last day. And how do you feel about it being reopened? I think it's great. It's been a depressing looking at the clothes because there was a great buzz in Cleary's. The fully redeveloped Cleary's Quarter will feature shops like H&M and Flannels and have a rooftop bar and restaurant. It's due to open later this year. The Cleary's exhibition will be open to the public from tomorrow and admission will be free of charge. But from today, Dubliners are free once again to meet under Cleary's clock. Joan O'Sullivan, RT News.